black magic osa 12k camera oh my goodness black magic keeps pushing stuffs and making other brands come from behind especially the price at which they offer their cameras Kano just recently announced their 8k r5 camera which is getting a lot of buzz and black magic just said hold it there yes there we now some key specifications of this camera it's a super 35 sensor 80 megapixel sensor with native resolution of 12288 and 6480 12k 17x9 full frame sensor up to 60 frames per second 8k dci full frame sensor up to 110 frames per second 4k dci full frame sensor up to 110 frames per second 8k cinemascope and 4k cinemascope up to 140 frames per second 6k super 16 up to 120 frames per second 4k super 16 up to 220 frames per second you record 12k with no pz burning or aliasing 14 stops of dynamic range the usb-c port has been moved to the back so you can close the monitor door when shooting with usb-c unlike the osa g2 12 bits black magic roar and black magic said this is the first sensor they are building specifically for black magic roar so this is going to perform better than all of their previous cameras that supports black magic roar ships with pl mounts with optional ef or nikon f mounts built in c fast and uhs 2 sd card recorders super speed usb-c expansion port for recording to sata and nvme drives dual card simultaneous recording split in the frames between two cards what this simply means that if you're recording 12k at q0 it is possible that the speed of your drive is not going to carry such bit rate so blackmagic is bringing in this feature so you can simultaneously use two cards to record a single take so the file is splitted between these two drives with one frame going one drive and another frame the other drive so if one card gets corrupt you don't lose your footage you just only lose half of the frames this camera will be selling for $9,995 which is very 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 cheap for a 12k camera especially if it's coming from brands like Red or Ari. Blackmagic also released a SSD external recorder that utilizes the USB-C port of the camera. So not same like the SDI version that was released with the OSA Mini Pro. And this external recorder says for $395. So guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. And do remember to click the like and subscribe button as we bring in more updates from Blackmagic and other brands. As we know, there are a lot of great stuff coming with Sony telling us they are announcing new sets of cameras pretty soon. I am Director Airman and until I come your way next time, Bye for now.